Clayton, go back to a little bit on how much you know about uh, Cy Young and just, I mean, and, and then a little bit about obviously Warren Spawn, two of the greatest of all times and your name associated with them. Yeah, I mean, you know, I know I know enough to know that uh, it's it's a huge huge honor to be associated with them, and um, you know, obviously the first thing we think about when we think about those two guys is wins, and uh, you know how many times they won, and uh, you know that's really the ultimate reason why we play the game is to win. So uh, it's really awesome to be associated with those two guys, and um, you know, just a huge honor to win their awards. And a little bit about you run into people to say I watch so and so pitch, whether it was Spawn or somebody, and they tell you a story, and it almost connects more. Have you run into any of that after winning? Some of these uh, awards, <laughs> not a, not a ton. Yeah, not a ton. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about the MVP. I mean, the Cy Youngs and the and all those more sponsors are big time awards. But to win them both and only the ninth pitcher, what does that mean to you to get both? Because a lot of people argue where the pitcher should even be eligible for it. Well, it's it's a it's a huge honor. You know, I can't even really describe what it's like to get to win that award and. Um, you know, more than anything that people would recognize a pitcher as getting to be associated with the MVP. So, uh, you know, for me to have that and um, to get to win that award is it's incredible. And we know baseball's a marathon, not a sprint. But once you get to the postseason, it sort of becomes a sprint. You guys beat the Giants by six games. You've had all this success, but yet I know that's one of the things you still want. Talk about the differences between postseason and regular season, that you guys have been so close, but it's somebody else finding the magic in October that you guys are trying to find. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's the only way to say it. You know, it's only one team can win, and it hasn't been us, so we got to figure that out. And then for the Giants of all teams, does it grade a little bit more on Dodger people when they, they pull off what they did, a walk-hard team to get hot at the right time? Or uh, You know, they're a great team. I have a lot of respect for them. So, uh, I, you know, if it's not us, I don't really care who wins. And because the AAA team is here and there's a convergence now, like you said, you haven't played here before, but talk about that convergence and then just the Dodgers' chances overall this year. The, the, I mean, you guys got a great roster again. Yeah, I, I know the Dodgers are excited about being in Oklahoma City and, uh, you know, getting to start this partnership. And it's, uh, you know, now that we're in Tulsa as well with our AA team, it's just kind of a one-stop shop here in Oklahoma. So that's great. And, yeah, we got kind of a new team. We got a lot of new guys in L.A. And, uh, you know, same expectations. We're looking forward to it. But, I mean, you've even been part of the revival. There's been a buzz on the Dodgers the last few years that was missing for a while. How fun is that to go through races, win division titles? Everybody's thinking World Series titles. How fun is that to know the Dodgers are back? It's fun to win. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know I don't know about the buzz and all that hoopla stuff, but, uh, you know, it's fun to win for sure. And the last one, you said you're from the Dallas area. Every time you come to this award, does it sort of conjure up memories of your growing up days and all the days you put down Little League mounds to get to the point you're at today? Uh, I, I don't know about that. I live in Dallas, so I don't have too much. Uh, you know, I, I literally live there all, all off season, so I get to relive that all the time. It's great. Thanks, Clayson. Yeah. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the award. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.